Hey, what's up guys? Alpha Doug, back again, another video. Uh, so this is going to be part two. Um, if you haven't seen the last part, which is my previous video, um, it's going to be unboxing one of these, one of these bad boys and a couple different things um, that I got over the past couple weeks. But um, if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and to make sure to turn on those post notifications so you know every time that I do post. Um, so I do believe I mentioned, I don't think I did, but last uh, last video, hopefully, um, hopefully the audio isn't too bad. I have it right under the AC vent, so hopefully it's not too bad. And I have clothes in the dryer right now. But in my last video, I said that I uh, ordered a couple things off of Hot Topic um, when they had hot cash going on. Uh, but this was another thing that I got. It's a Mandalorian shirt from uh, it's the their logo, their bounty, the Bounty Hunters Guild. Um, I forget what it's called. I, I saw it the other day, the uh, name of whatever this is. But anyway, let's jump right into the video. So today we got three $50 Toy USA mystery boxes to unbox. Um, so funny story, I got one. When did I get the one? Uh, I believe I got it on the 24th. So I ordered all these at the same time. Um, Toy USA was doing their four year uh, anniversary sale. I don't know what it was for, but it was, they were having, they had, I think, over, they had a thousand uh, mystery boxes that were $50 each. Um, I think their limit was, I don't know if there was a limit on them, but I bought four of them just because uh, they had their, they had like a deal going on. If you uh, bought four or more, if you type in free shipping, you got free shipping out of it. So I guess they had a whole mix up with their shipping and sending everything out so I check the statuses on the orders every day so I got one a couple days ago I got one yesterday and I just picked up the last two today so it was weird I was saying that one one was in North Carolina and then the other three were in Florida where their company is but honestly uh, it's enough rambling on hopefully everyone is staying safe again during this during these annoying times but it's something we got to deal with uh, so let's get started. All right, guys. So we're gonna get started. Uh, we got two of the, or we got three, uh, three mystery boxes to open up today. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. Hopefully the top grails are in here. That's what something we can hope for. But uh, hopefully everyone is enjoying their quarantine, staying safe, going out if you need to. Um, Honestly, uh, today's Friday the 27th. I'm not too sure when I'll be posting this, but this today is Friday, March 27th. So I will be going out tonight. I believe um, probably going to be going to Costco. I know that's probably a very bad uh, option, but uh, we're just gonna. I'm gonna go with my mom just real quick, just to see if she needs anything, um, just to help out anything. But but again, help out your family if you need to. Uh, so, got the box open. Got the box open. Haven't looked in it. Don't know what's what's in here. Hopefully something good. If you haven't seen the last the last video, uh, did pull um, the metallic Thanos. That was the best one. Uh, that was that was my my hit of the box, and um, and that's a cool one because I do I'm a big uh, Marvel fan. But I did find out that was a Target. It was a Target exclusive, um, and it was the one of those um, shirt and pop combos, which is cool because I would have honestly gotten it if if I was collecting pops at the time. But I just recently started collecting them, probably about two and a half months ago. So just building the collection up. Uh, so I'm not looking at him. I don't know what's. Um, I think we got. Okay, I think we got one in this one's in a soft protector. Yeah, one's in a soft protector. So I think that's a good sign. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get some low dollar pops and mix it with this one. So first pop of the video, it's going to be Oh cool, Lord of the Rings. Is it Gollum? Oh cool, Gollum. That one's cool. I know this one isn't going much going for very much because there is a 
the chase variation of this, and he's holding the, the fish, I believe, or, or the ring or something like that. So that's cool. So that's a not bad one. I know that one isn't really worked that much. All right, so next one is going to be Black Canary. That's not a bad one. From 2019, 2019 Emerald City Comic Con. That's cool, it's got a Comic Con sticker, not the shared sticker. But that's Black Canary right there. That's a nice one right there. Hopefully that one, I, that one might be worth something. And next one without one, this one's pretty heavy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> of course. Why would it not be a Thanos? Okay, so it's the Entertainment Earth exclusive uh, Thanos from Endgame, I believe. It might be Endgame. Yeah, from Endgame. Yeah, because they're all wearing the, uh, the suits. That one's pretty cool. Uh, it must be new because it's got... It's one of those. It comes with a car, uh, cards or something like that. So, I might keep the cards in the, in the box for right now. Just, just so. I do have... Thanos did open up. The quality of these boxes are actually pretty good right now. And just a heads up, these uh, these boxes are quote unquote their damage um, boxes. So that's a nice Thanos to add to the collection. I wanted one with uh, like his battle armor and stuff like that. So that is a nice find right there. So that's cool. I'll leave him right there. And last but not least, so this is the one, the soft protector. I don't know, I think this is the back. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh, I think it's Dark Magician. Okay, cool, that's an awesome one. This one came out in 2019, so it's fairly new. All right, that's that's not bad at all. Um, I am a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I, well, I was, I should say. I was a fan of the anime. Um, I don't know if you want to, I think I'd call it anime. Um, as well as the card game when it first came out. So I do still have all my cards, honestly. Um, so that's, I have my old cards from way back when, going on probably 10 years. Uh, and I do still have my uh, first Dark Magician I ever got. So that's cool. So we're gonna take a look at the value. We'll get right back to you. All right, guys, also, we are back uh, just with the end of the first uh, box. I'm going to, I put this one back in the box just because, um, to keep it intact. But we're going to go off the Funko app, and we'll check the values of them. So the first one is going to be the Gollum, and this one is going to go for $6. And the Chase goes for 16 so... Yeah, and wasn't sure. I knew there was a chase variation of that one, so I knew that one wasn't going to be too much. Uh, so next is we're going to do the Black Canary, the 2019 uh, Emerald City Comic Con Limited Edition one. I don't know where this one came from, but the box is honestly pristine on that one. I'm going to say pristine, very good shape. I, I, I'm probably a 9 out of 10. Okay, so this one's going for $24. So right now we're at $30. And each one does have a guaranteed value of $50. And the last one is going to be the Thanos Entertainment Exclusive. And that one's going to be $12. So we're at $42. So that's not bad at all. $42 for three pops. Um, and this one, this one does have a sticker of... $30 on there, but it's the Hot Topic exclusive uh, Dark Magician, so we're going to check that one. Uh, so, like I said, we're at $42. Alright, so Dark Magician's coming up at $28, so it's $2 under that sticker. Probably when they got it. They probably got it from a collection from someone, um, and they had a sticker on it. 
So that's cool. All right, guys, my bad. Uh, the my camera cut off real quick. Um, but total for all four of these is going to be seventy dollars. That box, so that's not bad at all. So that's twenty dollars above the guaranteed value. Um, so let's get started with the next one. Let's see what else we got going on. I don't know. There's no. Um, it's just. So I'm finally happy these are coming in. Um, I actually do have an order from a Box Lunch coming in, as well as um, Funko Shop. So I'm excited for that to come in. I know I believe those orders are backed up right now with the whole thing going on, which is weird because I mean I paid for like a three day shipping on them, but and it's been almost a week. But it's whatever. Um, so, okay, we open this one from the bottom. As you can see, it's just barcodes, which is good. I mean, so I can look without really doing, without really looking at it. All right, so we got one soft protector. I can't see anything. I didn't look at any, um, it doesn't even say anything about the items itself. Um, so we'll do that soft protector last. So that first one is going to be, Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. It's going to be Andy Bernard Target exclusive. That is awesome. I actually, I actually really want, I actually really want this one. Um, it's got some warping in the box itself. I might be able to fix it, but that is awesome. That is a nice one to add to the, my office collection. I don't know what's going on with this box or the the, the, the plastic. That's weird. Just the box had some warping, I guess, to it. But that's cool. Andy Bernard from the office, Target exclusive. I know this one it is. I don't even know how, how much it's worth now. Um, I think it's going for around but like. 15 bucks. Okay, so we fixed it a little bit, but it had some some warping of the box. So that's awesome right there. That's a good start. So next one is going to be these bombshells. We got Wonder Woman. Cool. That's a nice one right there. DC bombshells. Wonder Woman from I think 2017 this one came out that's awesome because I recently had I recently got the from the Hot Topic one it's the Joker with Kisses one I got the pink one I recently sold some on that so I might message him to see if he wants this one that he's starting to collect the bombshells so I will shoot him a message see if he wants that one depending on price last one going to be Teen Titans Go. Looks like Starfire. Starfire as the Flash. Toys R Us exclusive. That's cool. That's awesome right there. I'm not a big fan. Uh, I watched the original Teen Titans. Um, never Teen Titans Go. That's a nice pop though. I guess they're the back it's all their characters are dressed up as different DC um, characters. All right, so right now we're going to add up the totals right now of these, see what we got going on. Well, again, we're going to use the Funko Shop app. So first one's going to be Andy Bernard from The Office. Definitely keeping that one. That one's coming in at $17. Next one is going to be that Wonder Woman DC Bombshells. And it's not, okay, there is a Chase variation of this one. So there is no Chase, it's just a regular one. $10 on this one. So that's $27 right then and there. And the Teen Titan, this is a heavy pop, honestly. Oh. Um, this one's coming in at 9 so, 
So right now we're at 36, 36 bucks. So the next pop's got to be over 14. Hopefully more. Uh, it's a soft protector, so we can see what's going on with this one. What do we got? Oh wow! Got it. Joker from the original series, and again with the the plant, the seven bucks a pop plastic. So honestly, I don't. This is from 2015. I don't know if this is a hit. I hope so, because some jokers are hits, some are a miss. You never know. See, I don't know if it's decent with taking these plastic films off. But let's check the value on this one. So it's from 2015, I do believe. I think I got that. So let's check if we definitely hit something good. It is not. I wish. Because I, I almost just I almost just shit a brick. But that's not a bad one. This, unfortunately, this isn't the metallic one, the one that's going for $195, the one that I thought. But this one's going for $18, so that's not bad. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's over a value by a couple bucks, but that's not bad. So, got some good pops. Andy Bernard is probably my favorite one so far that we got going on. I'm happy you got that one because uh, if you're looking online for some of these pops, um, especially like Andy, some people are charging 30 bucks on eBay just because they think someone's going to pay that. But that's a nice add. I'm going to add that to my DC collection. So Alright guys, we are back with our third, which makes our fourth and final box. Hopefully the um, our main grail is in here, save the best for the last. Um, but so far, our best one that we got going on PPG-wise is that Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Magician um, Hot Topic exclusive, coming in at $28. Bucks. Um, but some good finds, honestly. But let's get started on this last one. Hopefully, we got something good. Take a look. I opened it from the bottom like that. Gotta realize that when it has the fragile sticker on there, usually means open up from this side. Alright. Let's get started. Hopefully there's a hard stack. Something in here, please. Christ, the thing is my it's like my fourth or fifth. It's like my third time ordering through Toy USA. I'm just open. Looks like we got I can't tell. We got one. One in a pop in a seven bucks a pop pop protector or soft protector. Uh, so let's get started with the ones and without one. Nice. Is that another uh, bombshell? Cool. That's a Batman bombshell one. So that is cool. So all in good shape. They must have bought it from the same collection or something like that. But yeah, it's got. But it's Target exclusive. So that that one's pretty cool. So hopefully I could ship both of them out, depending on. The value, because this one's actually pretty cool. Um, I guess they must be from a different um, different series, the Wonder Woman and the Batman. But that's cool that they're doing like the old school ones, the bombshells are called. That's cool. So we got Batman. Next one, we got Mega Man. Or Napalm Bomb. I, I never was a Mega Man. I never really played Mega Man. It was above my time. Um, 
but that's cool. It's a uh, GameStop exclusive Napalm Bomb. This one probably really isn't worth that much, by a couple bucks. But that's pretty cool. Next one, what we got? Is that Dark Phoenix? Okay, Dark Phoenix 2019 Fall Convention shared sticker. Box in good shape, decent shape. That one's pretty cool. It's cool because it's not like the original common one. This one, it's like lit, lit up. All right, so let's check the values of these ones. I've got a mess going on right now over here. Um, but let's check the values right now. See what we got going on. So we got the DC Bombshells Batman Target exclusive. Check the value. This one's from 2018. This one's coming at $16. So that's pretty cool. Next we'll do Napalm Bomb. That one's coming at $10. Got $26. And the NYCC um, shared sticker of the 2019 Fall Convention Limited Edition. That one's coming in at $39. Holy oh, jeez. Let me make sure that that's the right one and not the con sticker. I guess that is that one. So that's 39 bucks. That is not bad at all. So I think we're above value right now. Um, Forgive my math, I believe we're at $65 right now. And that's before whatever's in the soft protector. So hopefully something's pretty good. If not, we made our money on these three pops. But that's that's cool. I didn't think this one was $39. See, I, I'm not really, I'm a Marvel fan, not really an X-Men fan. But let's check, let's get this last one, get this suspense over with. We got Prince. Diamond Collection, FYE Exclusive Prints. You know, I think most of these plastics are like that. I think it's from the packaging. I think it's because it came from Florida that the heat or something was shrinking the film on it. But that one's pretty cool. It's uh, the Diamond Collection. Not really a big Prince fan, uh, but let's check the value on this one. So. Because why not? So this one's coming at $18. And this one's close in the seven bucks a pop prop protector. That's eight, 18 plus that 65, bringing us to $83. So that is not bad. Pretty much almost, almost double the money. Definitely big surprise on the Dark Phoenix. It's $39. I'm gonna double check that one just to be sure. But that's that's what rung up on the uh, on the Funko app. But that's a cool one, the uh, Diamond Collection prints. I do have a couple Diamond Collection pops, but definitely big. Did we strike out? Yeah, probably. But honestly, it's a lot of fun doing. Definitely do it again. Hopefully, you know. They got some better better stuff going on, but definitely that best one is going to be that Andy Bernard pop. Um, that Target exclusive they had to my office collection. All right, guys, so if you haven't done so already, feel free to leave me a like. If you want to comment, I really do appreciate it, as well as subscribe, again, for more great content that's coming. So anyway, thanks again for watching, everybody. Please stay safe and have a great day. Bye.